Hey guys, it's Jenny Gary with Blackstone Labs. Uh, okay, so we are back at LVAC, but we're not actually on my camera because we got in trouble last time. So we're on my phone, but whatever, because the iPhones are awesome. Okay, so uh, we are here to do a shoulder workout. Um, I get a lot of people that ask me a lot of questions about my shoulders. So I am going to, I've done a couple of them. But I'm gonna kind of tell you what I'm thinking before I walk through the walk in the gym. Um, I wing it based on how my arms are feeling, how my back is feeling, if anything's sore. But I will tell you that I love to overstimulate my rear delts. So we are going to start out. I'm gonna teach you guys a move that I learned from John Meadows, and that's it. So let's get to work. I got my Formula 19. Do you have to spit? Um, I did just take my hype in the car and with water and now we're gonna head in and get a nice pump on. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys, as I mentioned in the intro, about how um, I learned, because I actually did briefly coach with John Meadows. Um, one of the exercises is swings. So it is not a rear delt exercise. You're actually just opening up and then letting your arms fall. So there is no there is no concentric part of the move. But you have to keep your back and you have to keep good posture. They call it loser's spine, right? So it's meant to be heavy. You're not getting full range of motion. And it's meant to be high volume. So I'm actually just going to do 30 of them. But typically you would either have, like say, like two sets of 50 one set of 75. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like three sets of 30. You guys aren't gonna watch all of them. Um, I've done it with 25s. I usually do it with 20s, but there was no 20s over there, so. And I want you to watch the way that I do it. So I lift and drop. So he's gonna film the whole thing. So he is the new door. Um, he's gonna film the whole thing because I want you to see how pumped and how much blood I get into my shoulders, which we'll do more of this one because it doesn't have a tattoo. Okay, so you're going to face down the bench. Make sure all you girls and guys, big knockers are over the top. And that's it. That's as far as what you can see. So I'm not relaxing, I'm squeezing, and I'm just opening up. So if it's heavy enough, you'll really start to feel it once you get to like, Rep 20. I don't even know what I'm at right now, but it's definitely more than like 50. If I don't feel it, then I'm gonna go for another 10. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. And then you might do another 20. I'll just do another 20. Okay. Oh, it's so number one. Okay. So, I can feel like a super pump in my ear belts. Okay? So, I'm not gonna have him film the next ones, but I'm just gonna do, I might raise the weight, and I'm gonna do two more sets of 30, and then shut it down. Oh, wow, hold on. Oh, <laughs> even my fingers are happy. <laughs> Damn, pumpkin pie. <laughs> Up and then I just let the weight drop. Have fun with that one. Okay, so 
so as I mentioned earlier, I actually really like to always stimulate my rib delts. So every other exercise is going to incorporate rib delts. So we just did rib delts. Now I'm going to do lateral raise. Then we're going to go to reverse pec deck. Um, there are different ways that I do lateral raises. So there's different hand positions. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do them standing. Just a little fun fact. Do it sitting down it's gonna be a little bit harder so you can sit down and then when you feel like you're about to die and you can't lift anymore then you stand up and you finish it out with the same weight um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do sets of 15 to 12 uh, the big thing if I give cueing when it comes to lateral raises yes you're holding on to dumbbells but you shouldn't be gripping with your thumb because then you're putting all the focus on your forearms uh, and you're taking it away from your um, medial delt so I hook and my thumbs are completely out and then I think that I'm like a puppet. So right now I don't even have any dumbbells in my hands. And if I lift up like this, you're gonna feel more of a medial delt. So the hands, it's just like, I learned this and I don't even remember who I learned it from. It's like a, like a teacup or like a teapot, like you're pouring tea. So that's how your thumbs are gonna be pointed, okay? So you're gonna lift up to the side and elbows are gonna be head down. You lift your head up, you're gonna engage your traps a little bit more. My traps are good enough as it is. So I'm gonna keep my head down or just forward. Um, and that's it. Sometimes I'll do drop sets, sometimes I'll do annihilation set. I did that on my channel. Um, but today we're just gonna go straight like drop four sets. Fart it out. on 
So when you have really good mind-muscle connection, it doesn't even have to be a big muscle group. If you have really good mind-muscle connection, you can get the heart rate up really high just by knowing how to engage the muscles the right way. I mean, I'm keeping my core tight when I'm on here, but it's, I'm just working my rear deadlifts. I'm sitting down, I'm not standing up, um, and I did, I actually recorded it and posted it on Instagram. I got my heart rate up to 173, just from 12 reps on the rear deadlifts. So, really try to get good mind-muscle connection. I think I said that 25 times. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I think we got to do another one. Can you no. take another sip? It's good for you. started with 70 um, and I did 15 and I did 85, 15, 100, I think for 15, 115 for 12 and now I'm at 130. So I haven't done 130 yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drop set now. Um, sometimes I'll pick numbers and I'll say like, okay, I want to do 10, 10, 12, 15 and then I'm going to lower it to lower than what I started with. So I might go all the way down to like 40 and then just burn it out. I'm not going to have you guys watch the whole entire thing. But I'm gonna, and again, you can just go to failure. So when you do a drop set, you can go to failure, or you can do sets of the same thing that you did working your way up, if you know what I mean. break you take is to change the weight. That's it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Alright, so I just want to kind of end with this. Um, I know it's really hard to, uh, for people to really isolate and want to work their period belt, so hopefully some of those cues out. Uh, you can also do front raises with a rope coming through the legs. You can go face down on a, an incline bench and do front raises. Um, I like to point my thumbs up, so there's a lot of little, little things. But let me just tell you, the reason why I, and I was taught this in my personal training certification 21 years ago, the reason why I overstimulate my rear delts is because most of the time we are very protracted. We sit on the keyboard, we push the door, we drive the steering wheel. So I was always taught three pulling movements for every pushing movement. And I don't do any pushing movements. Some presses sometimes, but whatever. The point is, is that's the reason why. And it's worked to my advantage because I really feel like, and again, I'm not, I say this in the most humble way possible, but they got pretty decent shoulders. And I get a lot of people that ask me about it, which is why I decided to make this video for you guys. So, we're just gonna end there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go kill it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Blackstone.